Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got a special little pocket. Oh, this is what we got. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have all had a memorable day so far. And can I say how happy and honoured I am to contribute a little towards the most important day of my best friend. That's a nice build <laughs> Actually, now, uh, before I start, if anyone does have a mobile phone, keep it on. Keep it switched on. Keep yourselves entertained. And secondly, if you do have any good jokes, can you send them to me? Okay? Nice one, cheers. Actually, just give it. It's just numbers on there. Um, I will actually um, read out. If anyone does want to put, send me anything to make the speech all right at best. Um, if you could just, uh, yeah, just just text. Yeah, I'll, I'll read some out. Let's just, let's just get it. Over. Let's get it over and done with. Okay. Firstly, if I can just mention how beautiful Lisa looks, ladies and gentlemen. They say, Lisa, that the best man's speech is the groom's worst five minutes of the day. Your worst five minutes will come later tonight, okay? <laughs> if I can just introduce myself to people who don't... <laughs> Green mile. First, if I can, uh, if I can just introduce uh, myself to people who may not know who I am. My name is Dwayne, and I have known Alex for close to 18 years. When... Alex first crossed the waters to seek a better life in England. He was a nervous, shaking, sweating mess, unable to speak English. This is a state that he loves to be in every Friday night or family get together. Growing up and sharing life experiences over a period of time, as long as mine and Alex is, is bound to create a special bond. Um, it's a bond strengthened by the same interests. We are both big football fans. We are both passionate about Man United. Alex hates him with passion. We both attended their drama group. Both of us got acting work. Well, some of us got acting work. <laughs> this is where um, Alex would normally ask me to recite the tale of how I got work with a Hollywood actress and spent time with a film director husband, but no, Alex. This day is about you. And anyway, I don't like to kiss and tell. So why have I written down the story about the time we kissed in a play? <laughs> Some BBC director came to our class and was scouting for young British talent to impress him. Alex immediately came over and went, Dwayne, we have to do a gay kiss. <laughs> so we did. We didn't get any work from it. I'm not even sure he was a director. <laughs> so he was a director, Tim Burton. Bloody good one and all. Like that meaning. Right? Me and Alex also played for the same football team, Dobby's FC. We weren't very good. Every week it seemed like we were on the wrong end of a 10-0 drubbing. In one season, we lost games by margins such as 12-0, 14-1 and 17-2. The bit that really hurt was the very time started to print our results in the rugby league section. <laughs> That's actually a true story. <laughs> I'd actually... Oh, yeah. I'd actually started playing for Dobby's a couple of years previously to... Alex in the glory days of keeping the score down to single figures. <laughs> so when Alex came along to save our goalkeeping crisis in the winter break of the 97-98 season, we knew we were heading for the top. Alex replaced our current keeper who only had one arm and was partially blind in one eye. <laughs> and wasn't as good as him. <laughs> Alex was ultimately dropped from the worst team in the country. We had a dog at left back. <laughs> Once we played in a tournament where we lost against Bury Girls 2 0. This is actually a true story. The manager said, Lads, 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 hold them heads high because that's the best girls team in Bury. <laughs> Depressingly, that is true. <laughs> Page three. Once a year, we would have the prestigious end of season awards. A night where the club gave out awards to the players who deserved it. The, the, pointless, I don't know why we bothered actually. <laughs> anyway, I've had quite a good 98-99 season winning the manager, parents and sponsors Player of the Year awards. Partly due to the fact that I've been top scorer with two goals. <laughs> One of them was an on-goal. <laughs> I was feeling particularly smug because I'd picked the dog at left-back to play with the season. So all in all, it was a pretty good night. <laughs> 
And now we come to our last award of the evening, the Tony Butcher Award. What? <laughs> T -t -t Tony Butcher Award? I can see parents going... Oh, I didn't even know where there was not book. For a determined individual who turns up every week, even though he may not be in the starting 11. His willingness to succeed embodies the spirit of Dobby's FC. <laughs> This individual tries his hardest in all the training sessions and if nothing else has a likeable personality <laughs> and he makes up the numbers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first Tony Butcher Award What's his name? Alex Kushkeri. <laughs> I've never seen someone look so dejected going to collect an award. <laughs> well, I could actually see him properly up my real awards, but... Um, <laughs> but nevertheless, that man deserves a proper award. Well, today, Alex, you do get an award. You actually do get an award. <laughs> Just talk amongst yourselves for a moment. <laughs> Sound effects like it. This is the I Am Sorry Alex Award. This trophy represents everything I may have done over the years that warrants an apology. In fact, um, sorry, I just... Must have a small bit here. <laughs> visual comedy. <laughs> Mine, visual comedy. It gets a titter. I was going to put my number back there, remember. Please make this speech a little bit better. Um, apologies. Alex. I'm sorry for the time I stole your girlfriend, Sophie, when we were 13. <laughs> The only reason I did is because she had left me the previous weekend to go out with you for four days. <laughs> Good four days. <coughs> Alex. Alex. Yes. I am sorry. For the time I laughed at you when you fell on some glass bars playing football. Only to realise you had done some serious damage when I said, and I quote, I think I can see your bones, mate. <laughs> Alex. I'm sorry. For knowing full well you hated taking the shortcut through thumbs up on Jimmy's Lane in the dark. <laughs> Not made easier by the fact that I would snap twigs, shout what was that, and ask you if you had ever heard the story about the two kids who had been murdered down there. <laughs> Alex, I am sorry. For the time at Dobby's, when after pulling off an absolutely world-class save which resulted in you quite seriously winding yourself, coming up to you and shouting, what the hell was that? You let the rebound in, why are you not breathing normally? Get up, you girl. <laughs> Alex, I am sorry for the time you had damaged some ligaments in your ankle, and I thought it was the perfect time to play hide and seek without you ever agreeing to be involved in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry that game lasted two hours. I'm sorry the game spanned about three miles. <laughs> Alex, I am sorry for the time you were proudly showing off your first ever camera phone. I ran to the toilet, had a poo, took a picture, and saved it as your wallpaper. <laughs> Alex. I am sorry for the time I needed you to be my wingman, knowing full well the girl you would be looking after could be dangerous. Alex, I am sorry that you woke up in the morning with no pants on and have no recollection of what happened, but the girl saying she was in love with you and you were her boyfriend for keeps. <laughs> if you'd like to stand up, and if we could all just um, give Alex a round of applause for winning the I'm Sorry Alex one. The first trophy has ever won. Can I drink out of this? Yes! I must say that I gave out some separate awards to a few friends or life teammates, if you will. Steam Man got funniest friend. Uh, Ginge got most technical friend. Tom won best musician. That was probably the Tony Butcher esque award of the awards I actually gave out. There's no helping you, mate, is there? Cheers. <laughs> I'm going to have a worthy winner for that. <laughs> you're, a dis money. you're a disgrace. <laughs> but in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, Alex is a guy that you can rely on. I couldn't ask for someone better if I needed to share a joke, or if I needed a shoulder to cry on. Even if I required a gay kiss and a play, that man would be there. <laughs> and that is what best friends are for. They know your best qualities and remind you of your worst ones. They don't let you get too confident, but also pick you up if needed. Alex is that man. He is a warm, sensitive, caring man who will always... Sorry. <coughs> ah. 
He is a warm, sent. Alex, I can't read your writing name. <laughs> I could give you stories of Alex the womanizer, Alex the ladies' man. I'd be lying. <laughs> but he has found his soulmate in Lisa. She's a beautiful lady with a beautiful personality. I mean that. Yeah. She is one city status away from being unfriended on Facebook, but nobody's perfect. <laughs> Alex, I have found it difficult to fit 18 years of memories. Oh, wait a minute, sorry. Before I start, like, it, that, that bit is important. I just want to see if I've got any text. Oh, couple. Bear with me. Okay. <clears throat> what happens to a frog's car if it breaks down? It gets towed away. <laughs> Good one. I like it. Sorry, sorry, joke. Sorry, joke. <laughs> what do you call four shakers in a football ground? A decent crowd. Hey. All right, very good. Your fly is down. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I've got, what's this? I don't know what this is. Can't be bothered. <laughs> Sorry, right, Alex, I have found it difficult to fit 18 years of memories into this 54 minute speech. So I've written a poem to try and give these ladies and gentlemen a slight look. I have, I've wrote a poem. Oh. Yep. Yeah, uh, to give these ladies and gentlemen a slight look into us and our friends growing up. Plus, I haven't passed English yet, but she said she needed something by Monday. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, please. This is serious stuff. It's called a poem. <laughs> a is for Alex, the man from Corfu. He got a house, got a job, made a lady his bride suit. B is for Bury FC, banter and beers. Plenty have been had throughout the years. C is for Caligobbies, camping and close park. D is for Dobbies, drunk texting and Dwayne, it's dark. E is for everyone who is sat in this room, sharing this special day with the bride and groom. F is for Friday nights, friends and food heaven. And G is for Greece, 2007. H is for hangovers, honeymoons and... And Horny FM, the radio station we made when we were 10. <laughs> I'm Horny, Horny Man. Good show, solid show, solid show. Okay, that's it. There we go. It's Horny FM. Come in your ears. <laughs> I is for injury, like when you put your hand through your door. J is for Jaeger bombs leaving us on the floor. K is for knocking on for each other and the show where we kissed. It's for kebabs, Kez and Kirby and karaoke when pissed. <laughs> L is for Lisa, your beautiful wife. Please look after my love for the rest of your life. M is for mosh pits and meltdowns entirely. N is for New Year's running naked down Briley. <laughs> Always for outfits, the ones you wore in your stag, not kicking up a fuss when we swapped the clothes in your bag. P is for the paper mill and peach snaps at the park. It's for parties and polka and playing a shot in the dark. Q is for quizzes and questions like, would you rather? R is for relaxing on a hot porch with your father. S is for stones bitter, school and soul viva. T is for tank tops, tattoos and tequila. <laughs> U is for your underpants because your pants always slide. V is for vomiting on the 135. <laughs> W's for Wingman and White Label, our band. With hits like No Ball Games, we were sure to get fans. <laughs> X is for Xylophone, because I couldn't think of anything else beginning with X. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe reading X-rated magazines, then telling each other we'd had sex. <laughs> Y's for Yates's, Youth Club and Years. 18 years we've been best friends, Alex. Hold back the tears. 216 months of fox hunts and bad drunks. 939 weeks of hide and seeks and street streaks. 6,574 days of a mosh of phase and false lays. 157,784 hours of low trousers and band founders. 9,467,040 minutes of berry tickets and Mexican spirits. 
568 million 22,400 seconds of training sessions and stupid questions. Z is for zombie, because that's how I feel. But also because Alex believes they are real. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, if you can please stand and hold out a glass with one of your hands and join me in a toast to the bride and groom, Alex and Lisa, congratulations. Enjoy the honeymoon. Aww. And that's it, so sit back down. <laughs> That's it, everyone going up.